This Use a Play is brought to you by. This is a 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Friday, June the 6th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning. Today is a big day for about 200 dismissed workers from the National Conservation Commission who insist they were unfairly treated by the statutory board. They will finally get their hearing before the Employment Rights Tribunal, which meets at 2 p.m. at the Ministry of Labor. The layoffs were referred to the tribunal by Prime Minister Frandil Stewart after the NCC management, the Barbados Workers' Union and the National Union of Public Workers failed to reach agreement despite the intervention of Labour Minister Dr. Esther Bayer-Soku. The unions want the NCC to explain how the list of retrenched workers was compiled. They insist the process was not fair and that the last in first out principle was not used. Enough is enough. Agricultural stakeholders say they are fed up with the scant respect being meted out to them. At issue is the granting of a license to an importer to bring in two containers of chicken wings despite the fact that local farmers are able to meet the current demand. Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Agricultural Society, James Paul, has called for the full investigation into the matter. He says it's appalling and should not be allowed to disadvantage local producers. So we have no difficulties of meeting the, the demands of any restaurant. Rest what well, I think is unfortunate in this particular instance that we have two containers of chicken mince coming in by a person who really has no interest, who made their money outside of the poultry industry. But this is the other point I wish to make. That at a time when we are saying that we will want people to invest more in the local productive sectors, here we have a situation that obviously a business that has made money in other means and has money to invest, that instead of investing that money in our local productive sectors, they are taking the money that they have made in other sectors and looking to undermine and basically destroy our local poultry producers. The Caribbean is not taking full advantage of international trade agreements, so says International Business Minister Donville Innes. Using the European Partnership Agreement as an example, the minister pointed to the region's tardiness in pursuing available profitable markets under the deal. Our work, sorry, as policymakers does not end at the signing of agreements and the creation of legislation. We, as policymakers and political leaders, have to continue to build out and sustain the various institutions that create an enabling environment for unfettered trade within our region as well as that region. It is regional and international news after this short break. My dad means everything to me. He's my friend, he's my pillar, he's my role model, he's always there. I'm celebrating my dad this Father's Day with Barbados today. So can you write a letter telling us why your dad is number one to love at Barbados today dot BB and get a chance to win a Samsung Tablet 3. Enter now, the deadline closes on June 12. Over in the region now, Haitian President Michel Martelly is facing mounting pressure to step down. Thousands of Haitians have been staging anti-government protests, complaining that the government's policies are not working. Protests are expected to continue today. 
And on the international scene, Iranian officials are trying to determine what caused yesterday's deadly train crash. Ten people lost their lives and dozens more were injured when a passenger train en route to Tehran collided in with a freight train. 340 passengers were on board when the incident occurred in the northern part of the country. The death toll is expected to rise. And that's been the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun, power.